Up next, we have Jorge Soto. Yes, we did it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, jeez. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was just a skit. It was just a skit. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, testing, testing. Yep, you guys can hear me, I'm pretty sure. I should have done this video like two months ago during graduation season. But hey, better late than never, am I right? Because last month, I went to my friend Manny's graduation. It was really cool seeing one of your close friends cross the stage. And after going, it had me thinking about my own high school graduation three years ago. Yeah, time flies. Can't believe it's already been three years. Because at the end of the day, Graduations are unforgettable. I mean, what's better than seeing all the mistakes and embarrassing moments that kids would go through during one of the most important days of their lives? So get ready for this one. I have a lot to share. Oh, and also, I bought this cap and gown from Amazon earlier. And they did me dirty sending me an extra small. Because I'm not even that short, even though it fits me like a glove. Although I took off my gown, I think I'm going to keep this cap on. Even though it says class of 2023, just we'll flip that away. Ah! There you go. Now you can't see it. I look like Squidward. Squidward didn't have a square head though. Anyways, let's go back in time a couple years ago. A beautiful year. One that I'll never forget. Uh, 2020. I don't know how you guys feel about that year. Cause looking back, it was pretty nostalgic. But in the moment, Oy. 2020 was the year that I graduated. And throughout my entire time in high school, I was looking forward to my graduation. But you know what happens, big sister COVID comes into the picture. I remember not being a fan of quarantine. I loved going out. And when we were doing school through Zoom in March of 2020, I was wondering if we were gonna have an in-person graduation in May. And I think you already know what ends up happening. <sighs> We didn't. So instead of the usual crossing the stage and getting your diploma in person, my graduation was a good old PowerPoint slideshow. Yeah, I'm not joking. Our class really had it that year. And I'm still amazed how a simple presentation could make the whole ceremony feel different, a full 180. Each kid had their own slideshow and one by one, their names would be called. However, half of the kids from my school did not even submit a picture for this slideshow. So their slide had a gray rectangle with the silhouette with the question mark on it. Felt like I had to unlock a character or something. And as my name finally appeared on the screen, I could see my mom and uncle going wild in the background. They were taking pictures of the freaking TV screen. And looking back, I can't help but finding the whole thing hilarious, yet a little annoying. <laughs> yep, I graduated high school from my couch while my whole family was taking pictures of a freaking PowerPoint slide. And I did not even get my diploma till like two weeks later. All right, it's getting a little hot in this. Let me take this off. Do you guys like my haircut, by the way? I got it today. Anyways, that isn't my only graduation story time. Cause let me take you back to 2016 when my sister had hers. Cause unlike mine, she actually had an in-person extravaganza. And boy, that was an experience to remember. Picture this, a full auditorium. Families and friends are everywhere. The place was packed and everybody was holding flowers, balloons. Hey, can you put those down? I can't see. Sorry. And when a kid would cross the stage, oh, their entire family would scream their lungs out as if Mr. Beast just gave them a whole million dollars. Yeah! Yeah! And as the ceremony continued, it almost felt like a competition among the families on who can be the loudest. Oh, because you could clearly see them trying to outdo one another. Battle of the vocal cords. One person even brought a confetti blaster which scared the entire venue when he set it off. And this one dad who was right behind me whistled by putting his fingers in his mouth. You know, something like this. Oh, hey, yo, pause, pause. But you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that dude's whistle was so loud, my ears were ringing after he did it. And when my sister finally crossed the stage, I remember my family joining in on the noise competition. Oh, we were hollering and clapping as if we were at a rock concert. But were we loud? Eh. It was only six of us. Meanwhile, other kids had like 15 family members and friends who would show up for them. How did they let this many people in? Yeah, no, we were out louded. Is that even a word? Yeah, that place was loud. And just when you think it couldn't get any crazier, a hilarious or not so hilarious accident happened right before our eyes. And from this accident, the venue went from really loud to very quiet. This one student, who was probably a little too nervous, it was his turn to cross the stage. But the poor soul missed the step. 
and I think you know where this is going. He tumbled down the stairs and fell down head first. And his legs flew up in the air. They were just dangling out. And like I said, it got quiet out of nowhere. It was like a scene straight out of a comedy movie. People were then talking among themselves and a few were chuckling. They did not know what to do. And the principal watched as a teacher helped this kid up. Um, this is awkward. I wonder how that kid is doing. Actually, now thinking about it, I'm happy I did not have an in-person graduation. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I take that back, wait. Cause I actually forgot a huge, huge mistake that happened at our graduation. Yeah, I'm going a little out of order on this one. Now I'm going back to my graduation. But hey, at the end of the day, it's my video. And just now I remembered, I'm sorry guys. For our slideshow graduation ceremony presentation thingy, every time a new slide for a new student would appear, somebody who did the voiceover for like the entire ceremony would call out our names. So for example, slide, Michael Jordan. And then for me, my picture, Jorge Soto. Again, Jorge Soto. You guys think that's hard to pronounce? Cause when the guy was doing the voice narration when it was my turn to go, I wish I could make this up. This is what he said. Jorge Soto. Jorge? Who's Jorge? Yeah, I cannot believe it. And I was embarrassed because I knew a lot of my friends who watched this slideshow presentation as well. Ma, turn the TV off. Yeah, is it really a graduation without a couple errors and blunders? Blunders. Sounded like blenders. Not blenders. Blenders is the v thing. I'm talking about blunders, like mistakes. That's a new word for you. But yeah, from capturing moments on a screen to witnessing somebody falling down the stairs, these experiences actually become chair memories. And if you guys still haven't graduated yet, hopefully these stories of mine can help you avoid any messy uppies when you guys cross the stage. Uppies? What's up with me making up new words? Yes, sir. Real quick before I end this video, I just wanted to quickly share my Discord. If you guys aren't on it yet, I highly recommend you should. Or oh, there's a general chat where I pop in and say hi. We share memes, story times, fan art. And when I stream on the streaming channel, sometimes I do fan Discord calls. So yeah, let me know if you can check it out and join the Discord. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!